to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. How many of you are here with your prayer requests? Just wave it to Jesus if you have it. If you know this is the last time you will write it, wave it to Jesus as a sign of faith. Now, very quickly, if you are yet, if you are yet to write your prayer request, or perhaps in the course of the service, your faith expanded like that of our dear, the gentleman who gave a testimony earlier on in the previous session, you may want to add one or two things. Let me just give you a minute or two. Please write very quickly. And for some of you who may have received prayer requests from your loved ones, and you feel you want to add it by faith please just do that quickly for a minute or two then i will request the ushers please do well to collate the prayer requests let's have them in one place so that when it's time to pray we don't have to go around because i'm sure by that time we may not have the liberty to be able to go around and collect everyone's request so please let's do that uh, within a minute or two let's do that within a minute or two hallelujah within a minute or two everyone write by faith listen let me encourage you while you're writing Philippians 4 and verse 6 says, Do not be anxious for anything. It says, But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, Let your requests be made known unto God. Don't assume he knows it. Write it down as an act of faith. Lord, I'm tired of this level spiritually. Shift me to another one. Lord, I'm tired of these repeated demonic patterns I see in my family let it come to an end lord i bring before you any issues i may be having academically whatsoever write it down knowing that in the name of jesus this will be the last time you're writing it hallelujah okay so if you have that down please ushers um or all those responsible can you how do we do it now here's what i want you to do so that it does not become rowdy please listen just pass your request to the last person at the left or right of your row anyone at all nobody will read your request don't worry please pass it to the last person so that it'll be easy for the person to drop if the ushers have to go in row by row that will take a lot of time so just pass your request so that ushers you just focus on the last person by the left or right and that makes it very easy i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly to be praised i sing praises to your name oh god praises to your name oh god for your name is great and greatly to be praised. 
Lift your hands, lift your voices together. Let's sing unto Jesus. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and great. Santa Branda Gadavala. Praise is to your name. Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Lift your hands, let it be from the depth of your heart. Fill this temple. With your presence, we wait on you, Lord. We wait on you, we wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. Sing it one more time. We wait. We wait on you, Lord, we wait on you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. While standing, we'll be doing a lot of activities tonight, and that will be very fast. The first that we'll be having tonight is a session of prayer. How many of you believe in the ministry of prayer? When you pray and pray with understanding, you are able to turn the tides of things even to your favor. Acts chapter 12, we're still standing. We'll read from verse 1 to about 4 or 5. There's something I want to establish there. Please get ready to pray. When it's time to pray, pray like a priest. Pray without distraction. You are edifying yourself. And in the place of prayer, you are settling issues concerning your life. Because some of you, you are standing here representing yourselves, your destinies, and your families. Remember Jesus said, he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Acts chapter 12, we'll start from verse 1. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands, to vex Saturn of the church. Two, and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison, a place of confinement, a place where his voice will no longer be heard. He says, and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Read the next verse, please. Verse 5. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. Listen to me. Prayer can bring anything that is in the prison.
to come out it doesn't have to be a human being alone your gifts that are dormant your abilities that are locked up everything that the devil has stolen the assignment of a prison is to keep you in a place of confinement so that your voice will no longer be heard so that your influence will no longer be heard so that your destiny would not find expression there are people in prisons today they are not dead they are alive but they are as good as dead because nothing can be heard from them listen in the next five 10 or even 15 minutes you're going to take out time we're going to be praying in the spirit with every sense of seriousness why are we praying number one as a corporate atmosphere of prayer to cultivate your prayer life for some of you in this anointing tonight what god is going to be doing is restoring your prayer fire because it has gone down and believe me you cannot reign in life when the ministry of prayer is dead over your life number two you will be praying to edify yourself to build up capacity in the spirit and number three you're going to be praying releasing mysteries that god will bring everything that is locked up the gifts the graces the mantles the anointing the prophecies that have been kept in prison that will not let you find expression it must give way is someone ready to pray in the next 10 minutes no distraction it is between you and your savior open your mouth and cry like a priest go ahead and pray Shadegete paka pratsa sekete beleke tos kata branda gata bata. Shadegete bereke tos katila baranta paka tapras kete beletia. You are praying for the sake of your destiny. If you want to walk around, you can walk around. You want to kneel, you can kneel. You want to lie, you can lie. But make sure you are praying. No laziness, no looking around. Pray. Embracata pras koto koto pregete ikrete gete gete belege de pros koto prata kata parada bakata pregete gete belege te imprekete te skate gete kade gete ke prete ke tos kale pragata embranta skata lakata prata gete gete prakato na gete pregete gete shade gete gete belege te pros koto prakata maka parakata pranda gata legete. Megatos Katila Skosos Begede, Embri Neketos or Toros Katila Barata Katabra de Gedebelekatos, Embran Tegete Leke Prados Kalikratos Egede Lekotos, Embro Toto Koto Bragada Lakata Fredega de Beledos, Mata Branda Katabra de Gedebre de Gedebelegados, Engre Tegete Bratus Katebre de Beledos. Prakata pradege te pratus koto pradege de belere bosh. Kratos kosi se si bede bede borosh. Ki pray. La krato kata pradaga da pranto soto pradege. Am prakadush kali pradige de pratos koto pradege. La kata pradaga da pradege de beleke tos kate prato koto shaprindege tia. Ma kapra ta kata pradege de beleke tos. Embracata proskoto pretegete legates for the sake of your destiny, for the sake of those looking up to you, for the sake of your family. Parente shalade begete prato koto pregete legetos. Embracata prata gete rekosh kate prato skoto pretegete beledebos. Shate pregete beredegetos. 
Ebracatoto Pratos can the bread they get the baratoshi and the ladder. Shabra da get the braska de la catabra de get the baladatos. Mande shade baratos calibra de get the baladabo. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Heredeska de bread they get the bratos calibra hasada baladabo. And the Baragata Prateka Tebra Teke Tebra Teke Tebra Sadeka Tebra Tebra The flesh may be weak but I assure you the spirit is willing Kali Baratush Kali Prateke Tebra Tebra In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray from the depth of your heart. Father. Revive my spiritual life. Revive my prayer life. Revive my word study life. Revive my character. For the next five to six minutes, let that be your cry from the depth of your heart. Purge me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Bring personal revival to my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Revive, revive my life, revive my destiny, revive my prayer altar, revive my passion for you, revive my passion for the world. Someone is praying. Ale baratoshka de brande get de prate get e la prakatoshka li prate get de bele de bos sa de brande get de bele de bos from the depth of your heart let the fire of revival fall upon my life arabala shalaka tabrana gadebeleke tesh Ebra kata para katos kate brada kate bele koto. Shada brada kate bratos kali bratos esiata. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, we are still praying. We are still praying a prayer of revival. Revelation chapter two. Revelation chapter two. 
who start our reading from verse 1, we are reading to verse 4. Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus, write, This thing saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the stones, the, the seven golden candlesticks, verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor. I know thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not. And hast found them liars. Next verse. And hast borne and has patience. And for my name's sake you have labored and you have not fainted. However, verse 4, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you, because thou hast left thy first love. 5. It says, Remember therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto you quickly, and I will remove thy lampstand or thy candlestick, except thou repent. You are ready to pray. Father, purge me and restore. Restore to me my spiritual experiences. Restore the visions. Restore the dreams. Restore the anointings. Restore the graces. Every virtue I have lost through carelessness, every virtue I have lost through indiscipline every virtue i have lost through lukewarmness revive our lord god restore open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray Harakatapako shalegete bradege de baladam Embrakata parakata preskate beleketa Revive our God Restore 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 fire Restore dreams Hanegete baraka shabra dige de beledebo Aprataska de beleketosh Emprataka parakata parakatosh koto prendegete beleketo. Restore my prayer altar. Restore my appetite for your word. Restore my character. Restore discipline to my life. Oh Lord, set my heart on fire for you, for you. Oh Lord, will you set my life in order for you, for you. I want to know your ways I want to know your ways Hallelujah Now hear me Listen to me please In this bedeviled world that we live in Can I tell you it takes a grace for high level consecration to carry certain dimensions of the grace and power of God. To be consecrated means to be set apart. You cannot serve the purposes of God and carry certain levels of graces with distractions, 
everything calls your attention everything seems to be able to win your heart you are going to pray father dethrone everything that is not you until you become the king of kings seated at the throne of my heart every other idol everything i may have exalted above you i bring it to the foot of the cross lift your voice and pray take your place in my life oh god i dethrone every idol i dethrone everything that has attempted to replace you in my life through the sacrifice of consecration i desire to step into deeper dimensions no distraction Shade beleke te branda gada balakash kada bradi. Krada bedege te beleke te fras kada balanda bashkania. Rapata bradege te prete koska lekrates ka varanda barataria kata pros. Shabrege de bele de bara. Prakata brandege de bele de bos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. I know that our time is gone. I will soon begin to pray. Aside from maybe those who are here, if you can, please pair yourselves into three. You're going to pray. Any three people at all. If there's no space, you can look for two people and just hold the hand of someone. Pair yourselves. You're going to hold hands and you are going to pray. The Bible says a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. This prayer is a prayer of covenant with your destiny. That that which God intends for me to fulfill, in the name of Jesus, no power in existence will stop me. You will pray for yourself and the person whose hand you are holding. Lord, every mantle and every grace that must come upon my neighbor, that must come upon my brother for destiny fulfillment. We are intentional about it tonight. Let it fall from heaven. Someone pray, someone pray. Someone pray. He baraka to jakete balekata. Krate kete kete beketo skoto predekete liakata. Em prakato shokoto prakata barekete. Palinde kete pres kete lekete. Krakata baraka to skoto predekete. Em prakata pratekete pratize kete lekata. Everything that makes for preparation for a glorious destiny we agree in prayer this mantle must rest upon us tonight Keep praying, keep praying. Adege de beleke te brondos kade belata, krapa katas kade brendege de beleke tosh, embre kade kade paraka ta pras kade frende kade, leke te leke te brondos kade zebe kade belebos, mata brada kade brendege de fras sede kade lebara kusha de brendege de balatusia, krapa kade brendege te pras kade leke te bratos kali kaba hashana bada ba, makata branda kade brate kade kade pere kade. Two more minutes. Two more minutes. Pray and stretch in the spirit. 
Pelakata praskata frende ke baraka toshka libara hasia. Empre ke te baraka ta babaka ta baraka ta lekete. Sananda skate na daskate praskati la hasia. Empre ke te baraka ta praska zekete beleketa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One last prayer point. Don't be tired. You are making an investment for your destiny. You are going to lay your hands on your head and say the glory of my destiny show forth. The glory of my destiny show forth. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands and decree and declare. This is the season where the glory of my destiny must show forth. I lay my hands on my head as a token of my glory. Thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. Someone pray. The glory of my destiny the glory of my call the glory of my assignment hear the word of the lord this is the season when you shine forth show forth manifest pray hey, Embra de kete proskati la kato fraske de belekatos. The glory of my destiny. Show forth. Show forth. Show forth. Show forth. In the name of Jesus, show forth the glory of my destiny. Show forth by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, if you pay attention to all the spiritual exercises and the activities tonight, you will marvel and wonder at what your life becomes. Listen, this is how great men are made. There is no other way. This is a sacrifice you are making for your destiny. Tomorrow, if anybody tells you you were just lucky, tell them there is no such thing as luck. There is a cup you are drinking and there is a baptism you are being baptized with. I feel in my spirit to add one more prayer request. The Bible says, and when there was no more vessel, the oil stopped. You are going to pray. My spiritual capacity, hear the word of the Lord. For tonight, enlarge until you can carry the mantle of my destiny. Enlarge, enlarge my capacity for the prophetic, my capacity for evangelism, my capacity to receive the mantle of favor. Enlarge by the power of the Holy Ghost. I borrow vessels in the spirit, I borrow not a few. Enlarge, enlarge, enlarge capacity to hear enlarge capacity to see enlarge capacity to speak enlarge and the belegata praska de belegata praska de lekata enlarge 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Enlarge. My spiritual capacity. I stretch you by the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hunger. I stretch my expectation. From the depth of your heart. Shane balaka ta prata ka ta prosko to balash. E prata ka ta prata ka ta karabasha laka ta. Mata prata ka ta prata ka ta. Let's spread the gate of the coat of the blood of the blood In the name of Jesus. 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 Please listen to me. There are five major reasons. And there are five major expectations. That you must have. Every time you come into the presence of God. Whenever God calls for a solemn assembly. It is because he seeks to do five things. Ah. There's such a cloud in this place, my God. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence it fills this place. Consuming fire. Sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this place. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills my life. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this place. So fill me up till I overflow. I want to run over, I want to run over, fill me up, till I overflow, I want to run over, I want to run over, fill me up. Till I overflow, I want to run over. Now listen, every time you come before the God of heaven, the first reason why he draws you to himself and to a place like this, is to give you life transforming encounters life transforming encounters let me define for you what an encounter is an encounter is a supernatural experience that makes god become real to you knowing a theoretical god will not do you much as far as destiny is concerned because when you stand before pharaoh he will ask you who sent you. And you cannot tell Pharaoh about a theoretical God 
you must tell him about a God you have met. The first reason why God draws us to himself at moments like this is to give you encounters so that like Apostle Peter, you will say the things that we have seen, the things that we have heard, the things that our hands have handled, even of the word of life, that is what we teach. Number two, the second reason why God draws us to himself at times like this is to give us an opportunity for transformation. We are still praying. Transformation is the name given to the process that makes you become like Christ in experience. Now the Lord is that spirit, it says. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Then it says, we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of god he says we are changed from glory to glory even as by the spirit of god so moments like this are supernatural moments that are sponsored by a desire to have transformation in your life number three and that is the major reason why we are here tonight. Is that when God calls a people to himself in a solemn assembly like this. He wants to reveal his grace and his power. The revelation of the power of God is very important. He says, oh that men will praise the Lord for his goodness and even for his wonderful works to the children of men. That he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Listen, a generation that does not know the power of God will not be able to defend the name of Jesus. Everyone must know what the power of God looks like. Not just the word of God. Not just the message. Our fathers who left us this heritage were not just people who heard about God. They saw his raw power on display. And it was on the strength of that that they could live and die for Jesus. There are levels of the power of God you must see in your life. You must know that he heals. You must know that he delivers. It's not enough to hear that he heals. You must see that he heals. It's not enough to hear that he can lift men. You must see that he can lift men. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Not just oh, hear and assume. Taste and see. I believe in Jesus Christ today because number one, the word of God says so. But in all honesty, I will tell you, I have seen God do spectacular things in my life and in the life of people god wants you to leave this camp with a level of certainty about god that when they tell you god can change a man's story no devil can turn your heart against that truth because you have not only heard you have seen why do we need miracle signs and wonders because there are needs in our lives that only the power of God can solve. There are needs in our lives that go beyond counseling. There are needs in our lives that go beyond advice. We need a head-on collision with the power of the Most High. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel replied and said, the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Why do you need an encounter with the power of God? Because there are devils and there are demons and there are spirits determined to thwart the purposes of God over your life. Many of us here, you come from families where you are the first person to rise to this level. And let me tell you, without the power of God, what happened to those who went before you will happen to you too psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you even so 
come Yeshua come even so come and take your bride away how my soul longs to see your face my king even so even so come Yeshua come what is the fourth reason why God draws us to himself I will tell you the fourth reason why he calls us to himself is to give us an opportunity to receive an impartation of his grace hallelujah impartation what is impartation impartation is the transference of spiritual possibilities the possibilities of the kingdom that come by the grace of god can be transferred that means you can leave this camp with an anointing you did not come with you can leave this camp with a mantle you did not come with and people will look at you and say when did saul also become one of the prophets can i tell you this you must expect to carry something this night that you were not born with you must expect to carry something on your destiny this night i can tell you specific moments in my life when certain graces came i knew when they came and i knew the difference they made in my life when the mantle and the grace for favor comes on your life you will know when the healing anointing comes on your life you will know when the grace for revelation comes upon your life you will know when the grace for the prophetic comes upon your life you will know when the grace that was upon esther comes on your life you will know now listen carefully because we are going to get into a very deep moment of of ministration and impartation you came here tonight you have listened to teachings after teachings now is the time for something from heaven to land upon your destiny jesus put in my heart an instruction and a mandate i have said it for as many times as i have come here that every nation and every city every church and every region he would send me to that i will find people in that congregation that the light that came from him to me there must be someone in that congregation he told me that that light should come on listen carefully many of you have heard about my encounters i've only shared a bit of them this man standing before you is a product of many 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 encounters listen very carefully there are angels in this place number two there are graces that are looking for men who will carry them in this place now please listen very carefully for some of you your being here tonight is the 20 year prayer that your mother kept praying and said lord i didn't have the opportunity to be used by you but if you can find my son or my daughter Please place something upon their life. Now listen carefully, please. Don't be distracted. There are conditions to receive maximally in an atmosphere like that, like this. And that's what I want to tell you very quickly and then we'll begin, I begin to minister. Number one is that you must believe in the God of heaven. Believe that God is the giver of every good thing for the Bible declares that every good and perfect gift cometh from above from the father of lights in whom 
there is no variableness nor shadow of turning number two you must believe in the vessel that he has sent you can believe in god and not believe in the vessel he has sent to you can i tell you it is not every anointing available that blesses you is the anointing sent to you for the bible says there were many widows in zarephath but to none was elijah sent to that means elijah as powerful as he was he passed other widows and could not help them but there was a specific one i will tell you hunger and determination can attract the anointing to your direction I have been to many meetings in my life especially during the formative years as God was making and building me I would run into powerful meetings and just hide there like a sponge with hunger with deep honor and reverence to Jesus and reverence to the anointing and receive dramatic impartations I wish I had the time I would have shared with you in details how certain anointings came to my life i wasn't born with any one of them please hear me for some of you you have been coming for this congress for a few years but you've not been discerning enough and you went back without receiving anything serious god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you this may be your first time being here god is giving you a chance tonight for some of you you have come but you see yesterday's oil cannot solve today's challenges i came here tonight in addition to teaching you all of the things you have learned to release by faith the power of god over your lives and over your situations but then to leave you with a deposit of an anointing that you will go back like the foxes that samson released and you will go everywhere bringing glory to the name of the lord signs and wonders through your life manifestations of strange graces through your life this is what god wants to do are you ready for it tonight Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. Lord, I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. One more time. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. Now, please listen very carefully. There are men and women here, everybody has a role. And an assignment to play in destiny but there are specific people here the call for destiny and the call to serve the purposes of God has been trailing you like a shadow and God has been beckoning on you some of you have seen it in dreams you have seen God use you mightily now the time has come for that grace to locate you listen i'm going to pray for you and the power of god will begin to fall on so many people please whether you are an usher or not i want you to bring this category of people that i'm praying for right now hear me that the call of god is upon your life and the grace of god is marvelously looking for you and at work in you for some of you it is the prophetic for some of you it is the evangelistic 
for some of you it is the pastoral right now at the count of three i'm going to stretch my hands the marvelous fire of god will fall upon you let me have them out here right now at the count of three father in the name of jesus over the men and the women here may that mantle and that grace locate you now at the count of three one two three take that fire now bring them out take that fire now take that fire now take that fire now i ignite your spirit man bring them out that call of destiny that grace you are answering that call tonight oh by his angel may he visit you i release that grace upon your life i release that mantle upon your life i release that anointing upon your life let the power of the holy ghost come upon you now please whether you are an usher or not help those under the anointing take that grace your destiny will never be the same Now listen carefully. Hear me. There are some of you here under my, the sound of my voice. There is a mantle for prophetic intercession. It's a grace that is made for the altar. An anointing that will rest upon you. And grant you capacity to pray over nations. Capacity to release nations in prayer. At the count of three. May that grace fall upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. The grace for prayer and intercession. Please help them. Don't allow anybody run around without holding them. Whether you are an usher or not. Please. So they don't injure themselves. Receive that grace. Receive that grace prophetic intercession like Elijah like Anna the prophetess hallelujah hallelujah that gentleman wearing a tag, putting your hand on your head. This man. Yes, you. Come. You are a student. Where? Lift your hands. God is going to use you mightily. There is an anointing coming on you. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into new seasons of the grace and the power of God. Now hear me. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay that has tied down your destiny. And as I pray for you, some of you, that spirit that has tied down your destiny, begging you at the same level, it must let you go now. Are you ready? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and that fire will rest upon you that every altar holding you down that will not let you go he must release you now father let there be liberty at the count of three shout jesus one two three i command that devil go now delay i cause you help them help them help them help them please hold them delay i cause you by the spirit of god 
Delay, I curse you. Delay, I curse you. I release you to go forward. I release you to go forward. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.